What's up, Star Wars fans? Today, I want to preview Episode 7 of the Ahsoka series. There was an absolute ton of mystery built up in Episode 6, and Star Wars fans like you and I are hoping that Dave Filoni explains some of those mysteries tomorrow, September 26, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. And like I said last week for Episode 6, one of the great things going into this episode is how little we know is coming. As far as I can tell, there's no trail footage left, and although there's been some really cool theorizing and speculation this week, there doesn't seem to be a lot of leaks when it comes to this episode. Something else I think most fans are going to love when it comes to this episode is that it is supposed to be a little longer at 45 minutes in length. But with those basics out of the way, let's talk about the characters. We know that Ahsoka Tano is on her way to Peridia, and we know that her number one priority is stopping Thrawn from returning to the known galaxy. On the flip side of that, we know that Thrawn learned last episode that Ahsoka is most likely on her way, and you know Thrawn's going to be prepared for her. So Ahsoka could very much be walking into a trap, one that even a powerful Jedi like Ahsoka might not be able to overcome. That said, when it comes to Sabine and Ezra, there is a ticking time bomb just waiting to go off. It's going to be tough to see Ezra come to the realization of what Sabine has actually done. That because of her, Thrawn is going to be able to escape Peridia and head back to the known galaxy. Not to mention that they could be in imminent danger because Thrawn knows of Sabine's quest to track down Ezra. Of course, we know after last episode that it's Balin and Shin that are coming after Ezra and Sabine, but whether our heroes Ezra and Sabine are attacked by Balin and Shin, or Sabine actually shares with Ezra how she got to Peridia, there is certainly going to be some tension between Sabine and Ezra, and their relationship is going to be tested. That said, the characters I'm probably most interested about in this episode are Balin and Shin. Last episode, Balin definitely had some interesting things to say about the cycle of the rise and fall of empires in the known galaxy, and more importantly, how he wished to stop that cycle. So personally, I'm very interested to see exactly what that means, and how it plays out in this episode. And I do actually believe we're going to get answers when it comes to Balin. Unfortunately, when it comes to Thrawn and the Night Sisters, I think a lot of the questions we have surrounding them just aren't going to be fully explained until perhaps The Mandalorian Season 4 or in Ahsoka Season 2, which makes a lot of sense because the entire purpose of this season of the Ahsoka series was to bring Thrawn back into the fold, bring him back to the known galaxy. So the heroes that we've been following in The Mandalorian, such as Bo-Katan, Jarn, and many others now have a new villain that they have to overcome, which again is exactly why I don't think we're going to have a lot of mysteries surrounding Thrawn and those witches explained, and it's also exactly why I believe Balin and Shin are going to be our main antagonists in these final two episodes. They are going to be the distraction that allows Thrawn to escape back to the known galaxy. But hey Star Wars fans, if you'd like to hear more predictions about this upcoming episode, then check out my community predictions video, I'll have it here in the cards. As always, I'm Mike, and remember, the Force will be with you, always.